Welcome back, Southwest Florida. As you can see, the crowd is all in here, all the distinguished leaders of the community. And I'm standing here with Marcus and Teddy Dupay, Teddy Dupay, legendary basketball player, Florida Gators, and here in the local Fort Myers community, and a legendary football standout in the, in the Fort Myers community. They're all filing in to celebrate the accomplishments of these gentlemen and to celebrate our youth. Of course, I got a chance to interview Teddy when he was in high school. Never got a chance to catch this guy, so I'm glad to catch him now. First of all, both of y'all, I'm going to get you some stuff from you. Uh, what's it like to have the opportunity to be honored in your own community? Oh, it's a pleasure. I mean, the honor is, is for the kids. You know, we just want to be great role models of some of these kids coming up and through here. What did you know about Teddy DePay before you went to, to become a Gator? Oh, I actually had relatives that attended school with Teddy. Ernest, um, Erica, uh, Gilmore, they went to Mariner. So I looked up to this guy since I was a shoulder. Okay. Tell us about your uh, high school career, some high points of your high school career and your college career. Oh, I attended Dunbar High, graduated, went on to play ball at University of Florida. Um, got the chance to be a part of two national championship teams, 2006, 2008. So I had a great run. Great. Now, Teddy, uh, stay right there. We're going to come back to you. Teddy, uh, you, uh, basketball, uh, I think you were a high school basketball state uh, player of the year, if I'm not mistaken, right? And uh, standout jump shot, the whole bit, hard worker. Uh, I don't know, it was maybe about four years ago I read a great uh, expose on you. I think it was in ESPN the magazine. Maybe a long ago ago. How long ago was that, Teddy? Um, well, the ESPN stuff. We've, we've been getting a lot of good media coverage, so you kind of lose track of some of those things. But, you know, lately a lot of people have been uh, – Really supportive of the things we're doing in the community, not just here in Fort Myers, but in Tampa. You know, giving back, helping the kids, you know, building organizations that do a lot more than just help the kids that are right in front of you, but they sort of build something that can continue on and on and on and on. And that's why the Brunson Foundation is so awesome is, you know, this is great for the kids right now, but getting the people around that, that have played successful sports and guys that are playing professional sports now, you can't play forever. They're here to support with a foundation like this. The kids will benefit for a long time. Great. Why, why, why do you think that, well, let me back up. What is it about your background or your, the way you were brought up or growing up in Fort Myers that made you so passionate about the youth? Um, you know, I think once you get older, you realize how valuable your coaches were. I was really fortunate to have some good, good, really good coaches. Um, I love them to death. Uh, looking back as an older person and as a coach now, I realize how fortunate I was. Uh, but when you talk about playing passionately, that's just in the water here in Fort Myers. That's why we have so many great athletes out of here. Great. Now, Ted, I know both of you don't care to talk about yourself that much, but tell us about some of the accomplishments that you made as an athlete, maybe three things that you were most proud of as an athlete. Um, I tell you, you know, going to the Final Four, winning SEC championships, you know, that's something that is really important. You can see a lot of the rings around here. You know, they give away rings for team accomplishments. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for me personally, to, to still have, you know, the all-time scoring record, I got to be honest. Let's go. The, the longer that record stays, the, the, the more valuable it becomes. And I'm actually old enough where I'm allowed to brag about it even a little bit. So yeah. I'm an old man now. Hey, man, but you both of you guys still look like you can play at a high level. Uh, you're taking care of yourself. Uh, before I get back over here to Marcus, uh, the um, LeBron James, we're going to break some news here. We, this is happened to be the day that LeBron James announced that he was going back to Cleveland. What was your thoughts on that? Great move for him. Yeah, that's the beauty of free agency. You know, his guys get to go play where they want to. Uh, he's going to do great things for Cleveland. they got a good young team. Uh, but you can count on Pat Riley rebuilding something special down there. And, and I, I think the East just got a lot better because Miami's going to be good. Chicago's going to be good. Cleveland is now going to be good. And so slowly but surely, I think you'll see the balance of power, uh, power get back over to the East. Hey, you know a lot of the shooters are going to leave Miami, Ray Allen, all those cats. They're going to end up following LeBron, LeBron James. So can Pat Riley or Eric Spolstra give you a phone call? We can still need, use your jump shot. I'm available. <laughs> Marcus. Uh, uh, I was talking to Teddy. I want to make sure I get that question in to you. What is it about in your background that made you so passionate about supporting the youth? It's all about the kids. I, um, at the end of the day, when I came up, we had great people surrounding us. Just like Teddy said, great coaches, great family members, great relatives. You know, as they say, to take a, um, a village to raise a child. So that's what it is. I just try to wrap around some of these kids and show them the way to go. One thing I, want, I didn't get from you, Teddy, what's your thoughts about Marcus and his football career? Well, like I said, you wear the rings for the championships. I mean, that's that's the beauty. There, there it is. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have one of those. I'm a little bit jealous. You know, they, we got one, but it was for runner-up. Let, 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 let Teddy touch that. <laughs> hey, these are sports legends here. Uh, got a nice crowd that has come out tonight, shown up, show a lot of support. Uh, 
who are some of the athletes that you bumped into tonight that you uh, happen to run into from, from back in the day or, or that you admire? Um, for one, Teddy Dupay. You, know, you got Anthony Henry, you know, Sammy up and coming from do his thing. Um, all these great athletes right here. Ernest Ground was the one that attended school with um, Teddy. So I looked up to all these guys. So it's time for us to let these, give these kids something to look up to. Okay. Same thing here, Teddy. Who, who are you excited about seeing tonight? Uh, Gators, always. You know, Ernest, longtime friend. Uh, but really, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm probably most happy to see Sammy because, you know, we've all sort of been through that. You know, when you come of age and to see his dreams coming true for him right now and to see him back right here at home doing what he's supposed to be doing, helping kids and giving back. Now that he's got this great celebrity and all this success, I got to tell you, I see all these guys all the time. To see Sammy finally up here in the big leagues, it's it's pretty, uh, cool. I'm very proud of him. Final question for both of you guys. Uh, Marcus, what can we expect out of the Gators football team this year? I just say watch and see. Watch oh, come on. We're going to rebuild. We got to rebuild. rebuild. We came off a tough season, but it's going to be exciting. What can we expect out of that basketball team? I uh, look for another SEC title, and, and if anything less than a Final Four in a championship is a disappointment in Gator country. Just guaranteed that? <laughs> whatever, 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 whatever that means. Call it whatever you want to call it. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure having you both here on Lee Pitts Live. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll be right back.